Good morning, everybody, and a very, very warm welcome to each and every one of you to Empowering Morning Conversations. So for the benefit of new people who are joining us for the first time or watching us for the first time on YouTube, Empowering Morning Conversations was envisaged to help people to deal with all the negativity in life, start the day on a positive note, and help all of us to influence the world so that there's more positivity all around. The purpose is to shift out from our automatic default mode of life to a more creation mode, like creating the life the way you want your life to be. Getting out of a mode where we are blaming something or someone for our uh, limitations, Getting out of the mode where we see limitations and possibilities. So kindly keep your microphone muted, Kamalji. So shifting out from the default mode to a create mode and living your life powerfully and living a life of ease and joy and glory. So over the number of sessions that we have led and listening to people, one of the things I've realized is that you would need to be bold to get out of the default mode, to get out of your comfort zone. You need a lot of boldness. You know, you need a lot of Shakti. Shakti doesn't mean boldness, I know, but you need to be bold. So what is bold? See, if you are a fearless person and you do something, that is not bold and brave, you know? Bold and brave are those people who may be frightened, they may be scared, and still they, they, they do something and they do wonders, you know? That is boldness. Like we have Lina Ji, who could keep on thinking, I'm just a housewife, why should I go for big things? She's bold, so she came forward and she did things. And so many people here. So quality to get out of the default zone, quality which you need for living your life by choice is boldness. And I have a great honor and privilege to introduce you to a person who belongs to our very own e-growth family, okay? Who, whose name is only Shakti, and she's a real bold one. It takes boldness to go away from your family and live in Hong Kong. Okay, it takes boldness to do so many things that she has done. I've personally been a party to that. So let's put our hands together for the speaker of today, our own EMC member and core group member, Shakti Rajendra. So over to you, Shakti. Wow, thank you so much, sir. It's so exciting for me. Yeah, and good morning, everyone. Very warm welcome to 452 sessions of Empowering Morning Conversations. Yeah, uh, before I start the conversations, uh, let's quickly remind everyone why we are here. We are here to support each other, to empower each other, and spread positivity. As Sir mentioned earlier, we are here to influence others. So today, I would like to share some of my access experience. What are the things I have gone through? And then what are the tools I'm using in my day-to-day -day life? So hopefully that this session will be helpful to you guys uh, to know more about access and then how you can use those tools. Uh, for me to start this one, okay. Um, I have, I know Sukhdipak sir from past one and a half years, more than one and a half years. Okay, when sir, one of the session he was talking about access. I don't know what it is. I don't know anything about it. Even I didn't uh, look into that when he's talking about he's doing some courses, he's paying so much money and going and do those courses. I didn't even look into that. Even I didn't go to the site. Okay. But after, after some time he was talking about that, uh, Shakti, you can do the SOP. I was feeling like, okay, but I'm, I'm having a leap of faith because I know, sir, for the past one and a half years, I know his intention to make others uh, um, live up their life with total ease. So I had that leap of faith and then I took the SOP sessions. When I took the SOP sessions, 
because I was so down at that time, I'm not able to move forward. Something is kind of stuck. So Sad gave one SOP sessions. Um, I don't know whether I can put my, uh, my feelings into the words. It's so powerful because I'm energetically sensitive person. So I can feel that what is changing in my body and then how it's changing my emotions, how it's energetically changing my circumstances. I can feel that. Uh, after that SOP session, it's like some 30 minutes, just 30 minutes journey, okay? It's suddenly, it's unblocking something and it's opening up the another possibility. I was, it's like a magic for me. I was, I want to know what Sar did. That, that kind of mode, you know, that the curiosity came up like, okay, he did something, but it's opening up a so, so, lot of stuff. I'm, I'm into so curious. Then I was looking for uh, answers. Then I asked, sir, I want to do the access bars because that time I was in Hong Kong. Uh, but unfortunately, I need one more person to join that, do the bars because I'm living alone here. Nobody is here to that. We need at least two people over here if I'm doing it here from online. Then, uh, but when I come to India, it's not uh, for bar session I came, but unfortunately due to my parents met an accident. So I need to be uh, in India. So I came over there. Then luckily sir was conducting the bar session in Bangalore. Uh, my mom, it's like a head injury kind of dramatic experience she was going through. It's like a very, very uh, not pleasant one. It was, she was going through that one. And when I came over there, she was in that stage only. It's kind of, uh, she's bed rest and then to know she can't do her own work kind of thing. She was in the stage. But I, I went to Bangalore to learn access bus. I thought that it's, it's going, to, initially before uh, I made a choice like, I want to do bars for myself. That's that's the plan. But when I came to India, when I uh, my mom had an accident, I want to make use of the how I can help my mom to get rid of this traumatic experience. So I went to Bangalore for four days. The first day bar session, it's so amazing. I was with uh, Reddy sir and then KP sir, Rama sir, and then one more person, I think. Uh, it's 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 so amazing. And then after that, after that bars, I was feeling that it's changing something in my body as well as my thought process. It's clearing a lot of things that I observed during the day. The second, the foundation I joined within immediately the next day, okay, foundation is like, it shatters my reality, exactly. Whatever the point of view I was holding, I, I was living in the life. It's like, okay, this is how my, my society is built up some of the things. My parents created some of the things. My friends created some of the things. I also created some of the stuff. So far, I felt that it's everything is okay. It's like in the survival mode. It's not like a thriving mode. I want to change that, but I don't know how to change that. I was in that, but the foundation has changed everything. It's completely shatters my reality. And then, uh, you know, so many places we will be in the question, how I'm going to change this? How I'm going to make difference? So many answers, we will get it. Okay, we can approach this one. We can do this one. Like this, we will get, we can go and do this course like this. But a lot of times our because will stop us or sometimes, you know, our own limitations, even though after paying this much, whether it will go and change or whether we need to go through some painful process. But access is one of the powerful uh, platform or tool. I can say this. Everything is changed with total ease. I was there for four days. Okay. The third day, literally the third day when Sir is contacting some of the, one of in the foundation, he was going through some stuff. I was feeling that, oh my God, I'm coming here for this purpose only. This is the tool I want to use it. This is the place I want to use it. That is the, the third day, literally the third day. I was feeling that whatever the paid money, it's only worth it for only this portion. That kind of feeling I got it. Okay. 
before that i didn't made any choice to become access batch facilitator i went my for my own purpose it's like okay i can go and learn some tools i can use it in my day to day life but then the third day when i realized that then i made a choice i want to become access bar facilitator for this this portion and this one it has changed my life because everyone uh, before access is like people used to describe me i'm so how can i say that mm. hard to change i i am i am very stubborn kind of person if anyone coming and telling me this is good for you shakti i won't listen until unless i am experience or i am thinking that i want to go and change something i won't go and do that that kind of stubborn person i am people is like it's a waste of time going and talking to shakti is a kind of waste of time that's how they used to feel that's how i created my life but the third day when i was experienced that foundation it's like oh my god this is so powerful and then it's everything i'm getting with total ease that's the beauty of the access i was feeling like okay the simple costing simple clearing stuff okay i can it's changing everything means it's so powerful then i, I made a choice to become access bar facilitator i'm so grateful to subdeepak sir for that so it's an amazing experience sir that four day uh still i don't have a words to explain that uh, what kind of feeling i got that day it's so powerful and then after after that four days i went and applied to my mom she was in bedridden that time it's like completely i think five days i given bars every day two times morning and the evening i used to give bar sessions to within five days she she woke up and then she went and doing her all her work she become so normal she went to the kitchen and cooking for me that changes it happened within 5 days that's so powerful that's i can assure that even i uh, after that it's like i in my native i gave bars to so many people everyone can feel the difference if you are if you are stuck something into your life this is one of the easiest way so many tools and so many things the modalities are there but access is one of the easiest way to get through that that from my personal experience i could that then what are the changes after okay initial stage i went i gone through that one okay immediately i have seen some changes whether i am using in day to day life that's the another question mark it's king because a lot of people used to do that okay they will be uh, stuck something they want to clear that they will go and join some course they will pay a lot of money they will learn something after that they will drop it they won't use in the day to day life okay then it's like again you will be in stuck you won't uh, you won't see the growth you won't move forward into your life so another thing i found that is like even uh, sir is also associated with access and then emc and good to great so emc is the place for me to is a reminder okay these all are the tools i am i have learned i can use it in my life so every day coming here in the emc that's a reminder for me to use those tools and then uh, let me go, let me tell few things what is changed in my life before i don't have a time management my productivity is very low very low in the sense i will be occupied i i cannot focus multiple things i will be stuck in case if i am facing any issues over there i will kind of stuck i won't move forward then it's like it will, it will take a lot of time it sometimes it's 24 hours sometimes it will take week to move forward but after access it's like instant okay i stuck i know which tools i need to use use that get rid of that move forward that kind of uh, flexibility it's giving that one another thing it's like before i do have lot of negative thought patterns but foundation it's cleared everything now i'm creating whatever i like my desire then another uh, the major things i'm so happy always that's the most important thing i found it in access if i'm happy i can do anything 
before something it's something is missing in my life always i will be in that what is missing how i can get into that i don't know what it is but i will always searching mode go and find something it's not there i will do so many things but i won't get that happiness but always now i'm remaining that happiness mode that that itself it's giving me to go and do whatever i desire this is the most important thing i got it from access these all are the benefits i said another most obviously my money flow that i need to tell it <laughs> because everybody is here who want to earn more money and stuff obviously my money flow is increased um uh, how it's that that i i need to tell that it's like i i, I was it's like a, i'm having a job good id job that i'd say it's paying some good money okay once we are into that everything is going we won't look for uh, moving forward to the next stage you know that kind of life i was living okay going to the job this like a 9 to 5 job getting some good money come and spend enjoy the life is like a comfortably in the bubble zone i'm not thinking about the next level i'm not thinking about uh, what else i can do further it's like living that one after access even if you know, how i got this job it's so magical i didn't do even i didn't even prepare for interview it's like i was okay fine uh, some consultant called me that okay we are having openings do you want to apply that that time only i am preparing my cv okay fine let me do that then within 10 days they arranged the interview i went for it 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 went interview was one and a half hours but it was with total ease um um with so much confidence i was facing that one it's because of access only i help i'm using in the uh, in in day to day life you know 60% of high i got it usually it's not a way people used to get uh, the next one it's like a 20% 25% max 50% but it's 60% plus additional benefits which i am getting like insurance other stuff it's like i can consider it as 100% 100% hike that's what i can mean that it's so powerful this is how access has changed my life here i'm not selling here like access you come and do bar session i'm not doing that i'm 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 telling that these are the benefits i got from access okay so here in the emc sir is used to give lot of access conscious school for free of cost you know that we paid money we go and learn things but we are coming here and giving free of cost make use of that this is my request to all of you guys come because you don't know what it is but you know the tools because in emc we are uh, keep repeating that keep using that tool so you know what it is my only request is go and use in your life implement it then you will see the real benefit how what are the experience i am having right now you will also have that if you go and start implementing that one okay i think i share a lot of things but today i want to uh, one of the access conscious tool i want to explore here okay uh first of all i want to ask one question to all of you first of all are you clear what you desire some of them can answer to this question yes sir is ready sir yeah in fact uh, uh, congratulations uh, shakti even we both did the course at the same time yes, you you got what you desire and firstly i couldn't <laughs> no problem sir we are here to support each other we will make it <laughs> in fact sir reminded me so many times but still i think i am i am in my default mode still maybe i'll definitely uh, look forward for help from sir and from you sure sir what uh, see even though i know the all the tools whatever sir um, but i am not able really to put into practical use that i should admit maybe uh, regarding the 
what I desire in my life is happiness, nothing else. That's what I want to tell. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Anybody, anyone? Are you clear? What do you desire? Are you sure about what do you want in your life? Yes, yes, I think. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, before telling my desire, I want to put a word. It was an amazing flow. We could be able to sense that energy, and we are so happy that you could be able to make it up. And obviously, we should thank sir. Why I mentioned this is I know you before EMC. Yes. From yes. 5 a.m., how you used to come, sit, and watch everybody. And give our artificial exactly. smile and go. <laughs> you you can like you can you can see the difference. Exactly. Also, ma'am, I can show that because she was archiving the sessions. How I was behaving in day one, how I'm behaving today. She can see the visible difference for sure. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I was telling. Even night or not, I have a little jealous also. <laughs> she used to come sit, and we used to speak like hey listen to this and I will help you. Now oh, we are going to study, study, and you help me. Obviously, you helped me during this rough patch which I have gone through recently. Amazing, sir. It is like, uh, I would say a genie came from a lamp. I would say <clears throat> it's a realization. It's real power is coming out. And I wish you all the best. It should go to many more people and it should sell a lot of them. That's one of my wish. My desire, coming back to the question, so yes, I am very clear about uh, my desire. I am working on it. Uh, my desire is to, you want me to tell? Yes, yes, please. Yeah, I want to impact uh, many people, both in life as well as business transformation. Right. Sure, thanks. Yes, okay, sir. there's something I wanted to say here. See, um, when I was just listening to Reddy Garu, and Reddy Garu is such a dedicated person he never misses one session of EMC also. You know that. And what I'm saying is Shakti, Reddy, all these people, they did the program together. One person took so much out of it. The other person did not take as much out of it. Interesting. So I started today's session by saying what? You need to be bold, you know? If you want to get out of your default mode, now, for example, Shakti learned certain tools. She was bold enough to go and tell her mother, okay, cool, I will give you bar session. Now, here is a lady who cannot even move. Everybody will say, no, what are you doing? Are you a doctor? Why are you touching? So she was bold enough to do that. You know, it needs a lot of courage to actually go and do the things that you have learned. Okay. It takes... It, you have to have the courage to get out of your daily routine and take out the time. Now, how many people will say, oh, I'm so busy, I did not get time to give bars. Okay. Some people take it out. I mean, we had this young man, uh, Sagar Acharya. Now he's got so busy, he has no time to come for EMC also. He came to India after doing the bar session with Rama. Immediately, he went and gave around 15 to 20 bar sessions to people. Now, you may say he's a free young man doing nothing. So then he came to Bombay and then he did with me and then he did with Deepa and then he did the foundation. He went back to Nepal. He has the boldness and courage to do the things. You know, we had sat and made a plan and he's doing everything. He's even taken a place and from there he's giving bar session. He's hired a room and set it up as a healing center. But he's bold to take the action, no? So if you're not bold enough, to taking action means you're not sitting idle. Nobody's sitting idle. No, everybody's doing something. Problem is their busyness takes over. Okay. So many times I'll ask people, how many times did you read the manual afterwards? Not once. How many people did you give bar session to one person? You get it? If you don't do what you learned to do, and that's a beautiful point that Shakti was making a few minutes ago. It comes down to not bold enough to fight the inertia, not bold enough to fight the everyday habitual routine that we have, right? So if you're so excited that you break that routine, say, yeah, I've got to do it. So Shakti is like me. When I learned something, I did it. I was so excited. I became a facilitator. Great. Fantastic. Keep going, Shakti. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. 
Yeah, actually, I want to thank Rama sir as well because my I did my second bash session with Rama sir. It's an amazing learning. Each facilitator is giving their own variety, and then the okay, it's a different experience. How I did with Supripak sir is so different because that time I don't know what it is. I don't have anything about uh, access. That's giving me a different learning, different experience. But when I went to Rama sir for the second session, I know what it is. That's giving me different learning, different experience. It's so powerful, so powerful. Thank you so much, sir, for that. Yeah, coming back to my questions. Are you guys clear about what you desire? What do you want? Anyone? Yes, Priya. I'm not clear about my results. Can you continue? Something that I don't know. Sorry, it's Priya. Sorry to interrupt. Your voice is not clear. Hello. Yeah, it's Priya. Yeah. So I'm saying, a um, lot of times I feel okay. This is the desire that I'm. Want to fulfill the other moment? I'll say, No, ye to nahi hai. this is not the one, there is something else that I need to fulfill. So, this keeps on happening. Okay, okay, got it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Sabino, sir, for your message. Thank you. Yeah, so whether we are stuck with something or we don't know how to create something, right? We are kind of still in the survival mode. Um, giving one of the access consciousness tools it's like it can create your life however you want whether you uh, sir like ready sir uh yes sir yes Rama, sir sorry sorry yeah on that um, desire whether i'm clear about the desire yes. i think it is a process um, like priya said so there is one desire and then um, that's not end of it once that desire is satisfied then there is something else comes up Yes. So like that, I think it is multiple layers are there. That is one uh, thing I observe. The other one is like, what is ultimate desire? Like uh, Reddy Igar said, the ultimate desire could be the happiness. Uh, for me also, I, I did come across that kind of thing. I also realized that happiness doesn't come just like that. Unless I service and create happiness for others, I cannot be happy. So that's what I uh, really understood. Uh, subsequently. So these are the two things I wanted to bring it up. The desires are in multiple layers and um, uh, there are certain things, particularly the happiness, ultimate happiness comes from by creating happiness to others. Sure, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Same thing, sir. It's like life is a sequence of experience. Okay. Once we achieved this one, it's another one's coming. Otherwise, we will be in the same thing, but we want to get multiple things at the same time. Most of the times I will like, okay, I'm in this stage, but I want 10 things. Then only it's give me happiness. Most of the times I'll be in that mode. So I completely got that. <laughs> yeah, thank you, sir. So today, actually, uh, uh, I think Punain sir is missing, but always Punain sir will ask formula. Okay, okay, I want to be in this one. What is the formula? So I feel like I want to give some formula kind of a thing today. Okay. So the major thing is like, if you are in awareness, it will be, you can create whatever you want, or you can, uh, you will get more clarity, whatever you want. You can go and set up, um, create a plan. You can uh, create a new habit, whatever. You can do that when you are in the awareness stage. So this is one of the tools to gain awareness. Okay, it, you can apply this one for everything, whether you achieved a lot of things or you are in the very beginner stage, you don't know anything. Still, you can apply this tool. The tool name is four questions. Uh, four pretties are remember. Let me repeat that one. Okay. We have learned this four questions in the access bus, the basic one. Okay. First one is what it is. You ask this question what it is, it will apply. Whether you're stuck in life or you want to create something, you ask the first question what it is. Okay, you, you can fill what you can, you guys can pick up anything in you from your life. You want to get a new job, what it is. Yeah, 
I'm not happy with my job. I want, I want, I, I, I desire to have a happiness in my life. What it is, the first one. The second one, what can it do with that? Okay, okay. If I'm having this, what I'm going to do with that? Or what is right now, it's disturbing me, whatever. Okay, the third question is, can I change it? Fourth one, if so, how can I change it? Okay, let me repeat the questions. The question is, what it is? What can I do with that? Oh, thank you so much, sir. It's available in the chat as well. You can copy it in case if you want to make a note. Third question is, can I change it? If so, how can I change it? Now, take any of your problem, apply these questions. You will be in awareness. This question is not to get an answer. Okay? It's being that question, it will give you more awareness. That awareness will give a lot of clarity, then it will open up a lot of possibilities in your life. Okay, most of the times, you know that people will give an answer, I cannot change it. Okay, this is my problem. Sure, sir. This is my problem, but I, I cannot change it. That's how they will give an answer. Okay, uh, but if you are looking into that in very deep level, if they are telling that they cannot change it, that means problem is not that one they need to go and identify the root cause. Okay, what is root cause? It's like uh, in the IT terms, I'm telling it's a root cause. People is like problem very, uh, sometimes they will see the symptoms only. Okay, they won't really identify the cause. What is causing that one? They won't, they have only very high level. They tell that this is my problem. I'm trying to clear that, but this is not happening. Until unless you are going to the root of that cause and then clearing that, it will keep repeating in the different forms. So you need to go and identify that one. Maybe in case if you all want that, maybe I can take another session about that, how to identify the root cause. That will be a separate session. I can do that. Okay. But now I want to ask some of them. It's like you can... Pick any one of that and tell me that you go through these four questions, you can give an answer to your problem. Priya, you have shared something, right? If you want, you can go and apply these four questions and now you can share it. Now you know what is the problem. Okay? So you can tell me that. You know what is that, right? So, um, what it is, is that I'm not very focused to find my desire. Like I get distracted so easily. Okay. And what can I do with it is just be in awareness that whenever I feel I'm getting distracted, I just um, keep my attention to the place where I am. What am I thinking? Maybe I can do this. Okay. And can I change it? Of course, I can change it. Okay. That's, uh, that's I know. Yes, I can. Okay. And uh, how can I change it? There are a few aspects. Okay. Hanji? No, no. So, how can I change it? There is any problem over there? No, there is no problem. But there, it's sometimes it is like, I don't want to do it now. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything. The way I am, I'm fine. Okay. You know, it goes into that default mode and mm -hmm. like, kuch nahi, jo sikha, chodo rendo. Sab mo mein hai, tiyag do isko. Okay. So, um, like, yeah, baagi log bhi. Hmm? Yeah, then I have a question for you. Okay. If you are going to do the same thing, then how you can expect a different results? Can you repeat the question again? See, you, you are not doing anything new. 
okay you are repeating whatever you are doing in the regular life right but you are expecting some results mm -hmm. whatever you are doing you will get the same results right until unless you are going and trying something new you are not going to get uh, different results oh yes okay then again you are kind of stuck in the same position you are going to tell that oh i'm having this problem right um the problem loop is it is a loop you are trying to say ki i just start from one end and then again reach to the same end kuch solutions hote hai i just do it then the same problem comes again same things i do is it what you are saying yes you will be kind of stuck okay then in the mm. case you need to see how can i change it okay you you tried something it didn't work out okay then you need to go and find another one okay i tried this one then you need to ask uh if you are coming you are coming to emc so regularly right sir you yes. give us lot of tools lot it's not like a one yeah. like a, so many tools okay this one of the tools what else is possible you tried one but it didn't work out okay fine what else is possible what the another one i can go and try to change that right okay. i'll do so yes i do it whenever i am in my whenever i am in creative mode like not in default setting i just do it the uh, my attention is not my control lot of time okay so uh -huh. i just ignore sure. all the things yeah priya yeah, I, uh, i believe you have done bash right already you have done bash yeah. session, right i have done okay how many bash sessions you given so far one <laughs> okay you have learned after i did i think almost four or five months right ah uh, yeah i did in february 28 on february 28. okay okay see uh if you if you are okay then can we go through this questions and then try to find a solution are you okay with that yeah not a problem okay fine because yahan par to kuch nahi ho raha like nothing is happening the, in the state in the in my current state so i think i should figure out something else hmm. that means still you didn't identify the root cause am i right hmm No, for that also we can we can implement the same question to go and identify that what it is i'm not clear it right what can i do with that you ask more questions you repeat that is in the loop you will you will get an answer i think i um yeah definitely i'll get a lot of answer okay Okay, if you, if you want to try now also, I'm okay. Or if if you are later, if you want to try by yourself also, I'm okay with that. I'll try on my own, and then I'll get back to you. Sure, and sure. And I'll just gonna work on it. Sure, sure, sure. In case if you are looking for any, feel free to reach me. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I'll go. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. So you are really making a bold statement that you any of you tell your problem. i will take you through this four questions and resolve it that's really amazing uh, shakti what a confidence thank you thank you for that i'm i'm sure you can do it yes sir thank you sir yes vilasji uh yeah good morning to all uh and it's a really wonderful and uh, nice to know that uh, you are giving uh, the access conscious uh, uh questions and all this i i, I have done this with uh, siddipak sir i ha have the things but i forgot this question so thank you very much for reminding and i will just uh, uh go through that again i just made a points and uh, my question is that okay currently uh, i am just in the mid of 40s and i have two children my son is in 10th my daughter is in uh, 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 first grade 
and uh, they are living in mumbai and i am uh, having a practice of in dubai as well as globally so i work there more than uh, 12 years so i have a certain set of clients more than uh, 150 to 200 clients i am managing so i thought initially that i will stay away and manage and then i will come in month two month three month uh, just now uh, i am with uh, my family uh, she is my daughter and in mumbai so uh the thing is that but this is not happening because the children are growing and they need uh, each and every day as a father figure you know so i thought uh, my uh, i think what else is possible so i'm i'm thinking uh, to operate from mumbai uh, with them and uh, just uh, stay uh, as a visitor or as a person go uh, in dubai to meet clients so rather than i am operating in different level One second. You want to play? Okay. Take this. Okay. So uh, I will be a visitor to my client rather than visitor to my family. So that is my understanding. I will stay with them and visit the clients rather than visiting my family as a father as a husband. Beautiful, sir. So you have. What... You know what it is. You know the what's your problem. You know how yeah. to handle it. Now, you, you, how can I change it? You are into the process. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I just gone through this process. What you gave me the four questions. Now, I just gone through that, and I found out this is the uh, analysis. This is the analysis. Please take it. Uh, uh, this is the analysis. What I done, uh, and this is the what else is possible. Uh, is uh, my. Uh, question and i said this is possible rather than visiting family as a visitor i will visit my clients as a, a consultant and i will stay with my family so definitely most 90% problems will be controlled 10% i will live into the conscious wow awesome. i'm so happy that four persons stage given immediate solution to your problem so happy sir thank you so much thank you thank you yeah. thank you yeah Anyone want to go through any of your problems? Are you clear about what I what I was explaining about the four questions? How you can go and implement in your life? It's like a, a one session battery sir took. It's about habit, right? You make this is one of the habit. Go and apply this in your life every day, in your day to day life problems. you can see amazing results this here the most of i think everyone is having the issues like how i am going to implement that how i can make the habit right even you can ask that question you can use this four questions how you can get that is yes, a yeah so even the initially i also had you know the doubts you no know, just this questions how can it uh, really solve the problem but i uh, really understood that it focuses our attention the by default what happens we don't even define the problem something is going on like you said before access there are so many things going on don't even know what it is so we don't even know what you no know, what what is there so that is the first question which forces us to focus on what is the actual problem right so that's the power of that question so the whole access consciousness that is one of the key thing is being in question so that brings focus that brings uh, in the present uh, moment so that's what i realized the second question um, um uh, the first one is so what is it second what one is, is what what is this what can i do with that what can i what can i do with this so that again focuses instead of finding fault with others finding fault with oh this is not happening that is not happening that person is creating problem it forces us to think what can i do yes so that's the uh, second uh, question's power i, I realize and the third one is once i see what i can do then i can see is is it something changeable so then it forces me to think what are the possibilities what are the changes i can make and then if i can change then how can i change it so that's that's how the question focuses yes. so initially it looks like you no know, how can this four questions really help us or solve the problem but over long period i understood that it really brings focus uh, and uh, it really helps uh, to solve it because it 
brings focus and present moment. Those are the two things I realized. Yeah. Uh, so for the people here, I think what, like you said, Shakti, uh, they can try themselves or they can approach any of us. Uh, yeah. We can work yeah. along with them. Yes. So, uh, no, anybody has any, having any problem, please approach Shakti, me, uh, of course, Deepak sir, and you know, whoever else. Uh, are we are the, a lot of uh, access uh, batch facilitated from our EMC group. Right. All are in ba Mumbai, approach Deepak sir, Bangalore, Rama sir, Hong Kong, myself, Lina ji from Kopa. Yeah, Lina ji is there, but anyway, it doesn't matter. It's, uh, it can be yeah. through Zoom online. Yes. Anywhere in the world, you can approach any, of, can any of them. Yes. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you uh, for bringing this powerful uh, question in the fore and demonstrating that it, it is so useful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. So, Abhinav yeah. has a question. Yes, Abhinav is there. So first of all, I want to thank Sudhipa Ji for making such a difference. In Hong Kong, Turk, you are sitting in Bombay and you are making difference right up to home. So, that is awesome. Uh, see, my question is, you know, what happens to me in life is that, uh, you know, I just lose interest. You know, like I'm full of josh and then something happens and I lose interest. Okay. And then thanks to EMC now, now that, uh, uh, yeah, so now thanks to EMC is that every morning, so I get present to it most, but if I'm not, uh, had, had I not been corrected to EMC, I would not have even realized that I've lost interest in the world. So, uh, but then it happened during the day also. Something happens and I say, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? But as the world is like this, so what do I want to do for this? So, I kind of... I cannot understand, sir. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm speaking English. So, I just lose interest in the world, so to say. So, I lose my enthusiasm for making a difference. Something happens and lose my enthusiasm for making a difference. And then I'm into survival. So that is what happens. That is what happens to me many times. I'm not saying it happens to me right now, but that is what happens to me. And then at that point of time, I have no solution for it. Like it's like I'm lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this, ask this four questions, sir. Even in your situation right now, okay, your problem is you're losing the interest. What you can do with that, you can ask that. Obviously, you're having an answer. Can you change it? Yes. If so, how can you change it? You, one of the ways is coming to EMC and charge yourself. Yes. Keep that. Yes, yes. So, same way, you can find it another one. What else is possible? Be in that question. It will give an answer. It, it won't give an answer. You will be in that awareness state. You will get more clarity on that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is time to close the session. Anybody is having any questions? Okay. And in that case... Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Hope uh, today's session is useful. In case if you are guys having any questions or thing, please feel free to reach me or sir. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for this opportunity. Um, hope you're I welcome, can. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. And thank you so much, my dear bold lady Shakti, for doing this session and doing an excellent job of it. And I'm so proud of you. I wouldn't have done it better. Okay. Yeah. Sure. An amazing session. And uh, see, here's something I want to say to everybody here. All of you are there in this program with me, right? I say the same thing to everybody, okay? So it's like, you know, the fruit is there on the tree. Some of you pick up, lift your hand, stretch it, take it, right? So there are two qualities that you may be having. One is that you are bold enough to stretch your hand. And two is, if you listen to Shakti, she trusted me. Okay. Blindly. So, I, I not about, it. you know, it's not about trusting Sudhipak. You can even trust the universe, you know. Okay, listen, if I'm making a choice in my life, the universe is going to support me in that choice. Okay. It's amazing what can happen if you can make a choice, trust your choice and be bold and grab it. I mean, I was listening to Abhinav, right? Abhinav has done so much learning. He could be sitting in this Shakti's place and talking today, right? But many times, my dear friend doesn't trust the universe or doesn't trust someone or doesn't trust himself, right? So he's a very intuitive person and a very helping person, very kind person, wants to make a difference in life. 
but maybe he's not bold enough to shatter his default mode or conditioning. God knows. So everybody has something like that. What do you think? Reddy Garu is not an ordinary person. You see? I mean, a guy who can build an industry, that means he knows things and he applies them. But sometimes what happens when it comes to your own personal life, it becomes difficult to apply it, right? And I'm a little disappointed in Reddy Garu that I am available to him 24 seven. He never reached out to me and said, hello, Sadhvipak. You know, by the way, I'm your committed listener. No, Reddy Garu, even in the good to great program. And you haven't even made a phone call to me to discuss now, what is the next step? Sir, I thought you were busy, so that's why I didn't... You, know, you can send a message also. No? See, all I'm saying is that if you don't take the step forward, no? yes. that's why I always say, if you have an idea, if you have a thought, take one step. Okay, That's called being bold. If I'm uh, paralyzed by fear, I will still take one step. And then one step, and another step, and another step, and another step, and we'll reach the goal. So thank you, thank you, Shakti. That was a great job. And I'm so happy that you are there, inspiring all of us, by the way. Because I say, if anybody can do it, I can also do it. So everybody here, just say it loud and clear with me. If anybody can do it, say it. Please say along with me. I can also can do, it. do it. I can also do it. Can also anybody do it. can do it, I can also do it. Anybody can, anybody do, it. can do it, I can also do it. Yes, you can. Asina ji, you can come and sit and talk here one day, soon. All right. Great. So thank you very much. Thank Once you. again, Shakti, and thank you everyone for your enthusiastic participation. Thank you very much, you know, sir. When you participate with someone, it encourages them. So thank you very much for participating wholeheartedly with her. And obviously, she's got a wonderful space in which people would want to participate. Why? Because she's so happy. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And see you tomorrow you. for another interesting session with another interesting person so bye bye thank you thank you